a complete rebuild of Otago Museum's Interactive Science Centre has for the first time melded Naitahu's Māori worldview with traditional science. The $2.5 million Tuhura Science Centre opens tomorrow morning in Dunedin with dozens of new hands-on science stations to play with and a refreshed butterfly house. But it's the infinity room that is grabbing the attention. And Ian Telfer went along for a sneak preview. <laughs> So right now we're actually seeing after the Big Bang, we're seeing the first part of the Kaitahu story, which is the um, kind of the advent of moisture. You're seeing sheets and sheets and waves of rain going across Aotearoa. Um, so that's what the discussion is at the very end. Where are we now? What is this? <laughs> we're in the infinity room or the void. Um, this is our first zone and here we use art to kind of create um, a really, really beautiful parallel between the Big Bang Theory and what is to call to Po and to Ao the first kind of beginning of the advent of light and nothingness in the Kaitahu creation story. So we're standing in a room, glass mirrors? Yes, glass mirrors. We're surrounded by hundreds of little lights and they put on a fantastic display when we switch it on. It's just the first room of many in a total overhaul of Otago Museum's 20-year-old science centre. And it demonstrates how the museum's revamps married Māori knowledge, or matauranga Māori, with conventional scientific thinking. The museum's Māori curator, Rachel Wesley, says melding with biology and environmental science has been easy. But she says the physics of fundamental forces was more of a challenge. For example, uh, gravity in te reo Māori is a uh, Kume a papa, uh, and kume is a Māori word that is, you know, means to, to pull and is often used in reference to tides and things, so it's not quite something you can directly correlate with gravity, but you can see parallels between the two. The yeah. butterfly house and tropical forest building's been refreshed too, with new bugs. Eden Gray showed us Australian Goliath stick insects, which can grow up to 25 centimetres long. Um, insects and other invertebrates are quite hard to get people excited about and they're really important for ecosystems and the environments. So to be able to see them on such a gigantic scale um, and for people to interact with them, it's really exciting. All this is not cheap to visit at $45 a family, though you can now buy annual passes. For that you get to play with more than 40 new interactive science stations, including movie makers, light experiments, speed tests and giant air blowers. A few classes of children were quietly let in this week to road test at all. They weren't very quiet. <laughs> at the centre's heart is a seven metre high slide shaped like a DNA double helix, the building blocks of life. The museum's director, Ian Griffin, says he pushed for it. And I'm very proud of the fact that I was the first down this thing. It's an amazing experience. And um, I think it's hopefully, you know, with the noises you can hear behind me, it, it, it bears testament to, you know, the, the wonder of science, the wonder of science engagement. And, and hopefully people are going to come here for years to come and enjoy it. So that leaves just one thing, to try out that slide. Awesome. The two Huda Science Centre will be launched tonight and opens to the public tomorrow morning. No doubt to plenty more excitement from kids big and small. Kiyotago Museum Motihotaka Otiahiahi for Ian Telfer.